ready. Super proud of you. Wow, that's pretty cool. Really? Made, You're gonna put that on your motorcycle? I mean, it fits on my motorcycle. That's amazing. I, I, my windshield is detachable, and this fits on the motorcycle. Just don't do an abrupt stop and have your head hit that. that yeah, would that would not be good. Not doing so, an abrupt stop and hitting any part of the front end of the bike would suck. So, there's a small problem though. What? I welded the brackets on upside down. <laughs> oh no! So when it's on my motorcycle, <laughs> it looks like this <laughs> the right way. So I gotta cut them all off and I gotta redo these freaking brackets. So I'm really <laughs> mad at myself. But look at I've had this project fun. in on paper since 2004. I've really had this I've had this drawn up since 2004 where I wanted this on my motorcycle. I wanted this fairing mm -hmm. from the 1980s comic uh, Ghost Rider. And this fits on my It happens to fit upside down too. I can put it upside down, but I don't think it'll hold on at speeds and stuff. Mm. Or look so, cool. Well, no, I mean, I can mount it upside down. Yeah, it just looks funny upside down. No, I, I mean, I can mount it like this. Oh, okay, It yeah. just doesn't look like it'll hold on. Yeah. So, I've been taking a metal shop class and uh, cool. learned how to weld. I plasma cut this out. Are you, I bent you're it. in the welding class with Flint? Yeah. You, <laughs> what? Me and Brian tried to sign up for it. It was already full. <laughs> <laughs> I was really excited. I got in right away. So yeah, this is my to... project from the welding class. So awesome. I put these brackets on. I copied the brackets from my uh, from my my uh, windshield, and I plasma cut them out. I had to grind them, and you should be able to grind the welds and just flip them. Yeah, that's easier said than done. It's <laughs> done it I, I I'm yeah, sure. Not if I just don't want to perforate this because I don't want to wreck no, this thing. Just so. run the run the angle grinder along the surface into the welds. Yeah. Well, I'm really proud of this. This is my... I was so excited to get this actually so, so, on my motorcycle. So what, what color are you going to paint it? Black. Are you going to do a flat black or are you going to do a... Flat black, Ooh, yeah. matte black. Uh, I nice. don't have flat. I have gloss, I think. You do? Well, uh, I want it to look like this. I have to I have to mount up some headlights because this covers my headlight. So I want to put headlights in the eyes like he had in the comic. Yeah, I get LEDs. Right? I, you know, yeah. Kevin, Kevin mentioned that. You mentioned you might be able to get some... Illegally bright, like red I LEDs. Bought, I just bought some the other day, so. Yeah. Well, I'll get white ones, and they're probably legit. <laughs> yeah, then they're straight well, you, get, you get dry color, <laughs> so then when you have it part, you yeah. can turn it to red. Or, or like, I can make it so it looks like it, the eye, you know, like a dark, yeah. turn some of them yeah. off and make it look like it's looking at you. <laughs> well, anyways, I'm really proud of this. I got this done. Maybe you can have it when you're, when you're turning right, the right eye. Yeah. I have two part automotive paint in black and yellow. Oh yeah? But you and the uh, two part pr acid based pr primer. Oh. That shouldn't be too bad. My uncle has a or had, I guess he sold it an air machine business in Detroit. Mm -hmm. And their safety because everyone kept breaking the locks off of them was they would go in and weld the door shut. Yeah. So when they needed to come in and get money out, they'd get their angle grinder out, okay. grind the doors out, okay. open it up, Weld it back get together. the money out, put it back. Detroit! Yeah. Well, I'm just terrified of cutting these welds off because I, I don't want to break anything. It won't be bad. Yeah. So you can do it. You basically angle grinder down yeah. like 90% of the way and then you just go poop. Poop. Yeah. And then you grind it flat and re everybody. Yeah. yeah. You care that much. Well, Otherwise, you want it to be even. That's the only you flip thing. Flip it around, you get about right in it. You want to explain to me again how the plasma cutter thing, how you did it? Because it's not by CAD. It's magic. Magical. It was magic. So does this, does the metal that you put as guides, do they have to be a certain thickness? Or? Hmm? No. no. I just used some angle iron, so it was like an L shape. Mm -hmm. And I just measured off how far the plasma cutter head yeah, was from the from the yeah. flame oh my God. and then i i put those dots here and then i put an l-shaped piece of metal and then i could just go straight all the way down and make a straight cut and how fast does that go it's, it's just wood it's like butter i mean it just cuts right through it um that's cool and then we had to heat this middle part up because i wanted to get the bend in it yeah you blued it well so he got a, a an acetylene yeah. torch out, and we were just tor we we're trying to torch it and get it heated evenly, mm -hmm. and then you know trying to put that that crease in there. The 
and yeah, it's not perfect, but it's it's close enough, and I like it. Drag. No, it looks really good. It's good. Yeah. And eventually, I'll clean it all up and have we a, do it in ten black paint on it, and much have some LEDs here do. shooting out, you know, for I feel like lights. That was so, so the eyes were the hardest to cut. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, yeah, I just didn't want to screw it up because I had this whole piece here, and I was like, <laughs> if I mess the eyes up, then they'll, then it won't. Uh, it could, won't look right, and then could I'll you have, have to start over. Yeah, you could you have put filming. two pieces together? We'll have to like, use a wide and, champion. And then, we'll could, like, because these are two halves, right? Mm -hmm. So we'll could you have put two pieces together and then cut them at the same time? Yeah. No, the, the, the plasma cutter is so violent, it would put oh. it would put slag and stuff in between those two pieces of metal. I was going to do that for well, these, we would, we for these the uh, brackets, yeah. Yeah. brackets and it just, it. it wasn't advised because it was, uh, <laughs> he said that there'll be, there'll be slag in between them and it just won't, mm -hmm. won't, won't cut very well. Coffee. So. Gotcha. But I, I did the brackets by freehand and I had to grind them for, I mean, probably five hours. <laughs> it took to grind them to get them down right. Oh my god. They weren't even close to being what they look like now. So, so cool, yeah. Man. Awesome. Good job. Except for mounting it upside down. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. I think you were just so jubilant about the. Uh... I was so excited when I got home. I was like, "Yes, it fits on there." Because when I left the when I left the house, the mounts did not fit. They weren't even close. Mm -hmm. I came over here to borrow a uh, Dremel from Whisker, mm -hmm. and then and then I went to the metal shop class and I worked on them for a couple hours and I thought eh, that looks right. And then I got home and it actually fit. But I'm like, oh, but it, I, I molded it on upside down. Though. So I'm yeah I'm not very happy with that but that's, that's alright. Too big. It still looks wicked. Yes. Yes. It's it's awesome. Very yes. excited. Just the center. Well, Just the center. I've always wanted to do this. Well, I mean, I've had this design for ten off, years. Yeah. So. Off. <coughs> and Angela kept oh, moving this. I had the template that's this big. Yeah. I literally have a, a Manila envelope template that I glued together and cut out this way. Yeah. And because I scaled this up ten times ten, mm -hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And, and I've had this template, and she keeps moving it, and she goes, can you just throw this away? And I'm like, no, someday I'm going to build that. Right. Now, I, now is the day. Now is the day. So I said, now I built it. Awesome. So, Good now job. She's going, can we throw that away? Yeah, yeah, now she's going to want to throw it away. <laughs> got a lot of memories in that. I've had it for 10 years now. Uh -huh. so, but I'm just glad it's done, and, or it's close. But yeah, cool. Awesome. Hi, Jesse. Hello. Hi. What are you I, up to? I am Jesse making. I am making a manually operated vacuum pump. Plumbing for everyone. Plumbing for everyone. <laughs> so, oh, um, <laughs> I've brought a whole bunch of. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm missing some pipes. Oh no! Well, you I, need you just know. normal PVC pipe because we got tons of it. Uh, four inch, three inch, and oh, two oh, inch. <laughs> we may have some. Okay. Um, Maybe. The yeah. The well, we'll see. Connector. If not, I can make a run home. Okay. Uh, but yeah, basically, I'm gonna put all the pieces together with some PVC glue, and then um, yeah, that's in here. Okay. And uh, you can make, you can take rubber, <laughs> which I got this rubber sheet in, um, for this purpose. Mm -hmm. But basically, you can take rubber and then make a bunch. Those are samples that came with it. That's oh. kind of weird. Um, you can make one-way valves, essentially by gluing the rubber in a flap. Okay. So, say say you've got like a small opening and you've got a flap on the rubber. Yep. It and you glue it on one side, it'll hinge and let the air out, but it won't let the air back in. Okay. So a vacuum pump is basically going to suck in air one through one one way, and then push it out through another one way, and then just keep. That's all it does. Cool. Yep. So, that's the One project. The All right. Awesome. I hope I didn't cut your head off I, in the video. I hope so too. Yeah, I got decapitated dog. Wine tasting truck. Now, more tacky. <laughs> Maximize tackiness. Wow. I think we can do it. Uh, I probably have to insert that. <laughs> I tested. It might be too long, that's the fear. That's too long. Here, get that. 
So, measuring device. Uh, I got another oh. bill. Oh. So we need it at least probably two and a quarter inches shorter. So let's see what we can take out of this. Saw back there? Uh, yeah. Maybe. What, what, what do you mean? with the steel wool and some sort right, of solvent. Okay. Like, Go a lot uh, easier. Yeah. Start with something easy like vinegar. Just, you know. it may just come right off if it's bad paint. It's plastic, I, I don't have gloves big enough for your hand. What? Don't worry about the chemical burns. I was thinking. Is there uh, a bucket? We could. I was more concerned about uh, steel wool slivers. Oh, yeah. That's not a bad of a good deal. I have the most feminine skin. Yeah. <laughs> Got a pair of nitro gloves and probably not going to use tonight. I'll have all the uh, pieces I need for this. That's Miles. That's the one with the feminine fingertips. Yes. <laughs> His hands are, are girlier than mine. I've been here five minutes and I'm already incrementing myself. This is great. It's okay. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, we love you. Do you know, do you know, Colin, do you know Miles? I don't believe so. Miles. Miles, Miles Colin. Yeah. Colin, yeah. Colin yeah. Miles. Wow, that is, is that That's the shit you got sticking out? Yeah, dude. That was. It was. This was in the middle of it. That's so weird. It's just like a very weird looking... It was hanging in our dining room when we bought the house. For some reason they didn't want to keep it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Oh. I think that's the... Yeah. Isn't that nice? Second. Okay, go. So this was covered in some weird green paint on the inside, uh, but apparently green paint is brake cleaner soluble, so brake clean, applied, scrubbed with steel wool, all gone, nice and clean. Hooray! Good life diffuser. We win. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if you, we ever saw this in its original glory, but Ruth and I won a wine tasting championship, our competition last year. And everyone who wins the trophy, which was this little piece, has to bedazzle or otherwise add something to it. So we added the most horrific looking lamp parts to the trophy. One tank. Now it's horrific. That's a giraffe. This is a baby giraffe, and this is not a baby giraffe. Oh my goodness. I think that's what it's supposed to represent. We'll see if we can get it home in one piece. That's going to be hideous. <laughs> the neighbors are going to hate us. It's going to be spectacular. Results. Right. What's that? Can you set the test circuit on us? You can. You got internet's over there. I'm Did you find Miles? Going? It's an ugly thing. I don't know what it does. I got it off. You got it off. <laughs> I'm, sa I'm scavenging. I'm, I'm scavenging it. parts. Why? Well, right on. I had it welded on. It's a fun time. <laughs> oh. Here we go. We're, we're doing a little design planning here. So, these wings insert something, something around like this. Mm -hmm. However, I don't know if you can just see, mm -hmm. but the, the wings are a little bit too big right now Kay. for the body. Kay. So we're deciding how to cut these back a little bit so that they match really well. If you look, because if you look on this one, 12 volts, at least one end. Um, the edge of the body doesn't really go that far before the neck starts. So, it's electric violence, so it doesn't have to look super authentic, however, design is good. Mm -hmm. So we're just, yeah, trying to cut back some on there right now, that's what we're doing. Okay. Cool. Mm -hmm. Good luck. Thanks. How tall your shoulder rest is. The main thing I want to do with it, there's a bunch of side things that I want to do with it. Um, so, so you may not be able to get away with going quite that extreme of an angle? Of, I could just bring it next time. Well, we have so a similar one upstairs, yeah? Hey. Yes, we have one similar one. Okay. It's on the piano. I can go get it. I think mine is a little different, though. All right, and then I'm going to record you playing the piano, the butterfly. 
Sounds cool. We got something done. We're fixing the entropy drawer. Yep. We're gonna put everything back in. How do we have this many just power supplies? Jesus. Because people keep bringing them. Oh. Things break and power supplies don't. <gasps> so many. <laughs> Woo. Hey, well. Now it'll be slightly less terrible to go in there. That's true. We uh, Lord, Lord, making, yeah. are making insert soap yeah. there on this side know. for I these know. parts. Oh, mm. so oh, okay. It sits in like yeah. this. Nice. And so we're trying to make, I guess, the little holders for the where it sits in, but we need to make them a little bit wider. Okay. Sounds good. It's, okay, so it's in pieces and I can't hold it together with my two hands. That's fine. But. Cool. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like, looks yeah. Good. Looks good. So now you gotta cut, the, now you guys have to cut that piece out. Yeah, we have to cut this out. This actually did end up working. No? Oh, yeah, did it, it, work? did, yeah, it did. It did end up working. Whisker got it in. Awesome. Very nice. High five. Uh, Eddie found them. <laughs> Wow. We're hey. embarrassment. <laughs>